What is going on, everybody? Princess Many Four here. Welcome back to Let's Play Soul Calibur Six. Six. Episode whatever. Astaroth. The Cataclysm is born. Um, this is fucking Astaroth episode. I don't know how to play Astaroth at all. All I know is his his his, uh, his move set is annoying and slow as hell, and he's got a lot of grabs. He's got a lot of grabs. The Fiegel Sestimus, or the Guardians of Truth, worshippers of Palgea, the God of Destruction. Dude, Palgea. In preparation for the day when all will be cleansed, the group performed horrific ceremonies and experiments in underground shrines across the globe. In 1583 which the group calls the Year of Saturn's Crimson Serpent, they were able to make contact for the first time with Palgea the Executioner. Deliver the Sword of Judgment, Soul Edge, to my altar. Only then can the purification begin. Upon hearing this revelation, High Priest Kumpetku devoted himself to the nefarious forbidden arts in order to create a golem of fearsome power. Now, Astaroth, a warrior forged by human hands for the sake of claiming Soul Edge is nearing his awakening. Ista el tuk palgria el ku munzia tudadia el a uvia astoralote. Yeah, all that. All what just happened. <laughs> Are you certain this is a good idea, Your Grace? Do not fear. This Golem of Astaroth is embedded with a special core bestowed upon us by the Great One himself. It will bring Soul Age to Fiegel Sestimus. <laughs> He moves. Are we ready? Yes. I shall bring the Chimeras now. Can you hear it, puppet? The voice of care. Where is I? Feel rage! Quite good physicality for a human experiment, but your mind is still crude. Even if you do obtain Soul Edge, it will enslave you. On Ares' request, I shall grant you aid this once. Possess the memories of various fallen warriors. Enemies approach. Show me you can destroy all who challenge you. Sure. Astroth, you, you've seen better days, man. Yeah, doesn't this turn into unblockable with like a... Yeah, everything about Astroth is fucking grabs and I hate it. Good, you're quiet now. 
That's why I was very mad about it. <laughs> I could get used to this. Just look at me go. You are a success. Your master, the war god Ares, deserves your thanks for bestowing upon you such wisdom and skill. A war god? So he is my master. Splendid. The Chimeras were swatted like flies. Do you see? This is what my research has brought us. I am worthy of a god. This human doesn't know his place. Should I kill him? I. The High Priest Kunpetku, ruler of Mother Earth, command you! O oh, Astaroth, claim Soul Edge and present it to Palgea the Executioner. All shall know the glory of Kunpetku and Figo Sustamus! Yeah. This fool will pay for ordering me around. But for now, our objectives are the same. I'll use him to my advantage. I am ready, Kunpeku, my lord. Astaroth II, Revolt of the Heretic. Under Kunpeku's orders, Astaroth made his way straight to Europe with an army of lizard men in tow. Half men, half beast warriors sliced together by the cult. Memory of numerous warriors, grisly fates bestowed upon him by Kerr, the agents of death. Astaroth found it easily to follow the scent expelled by Solch. A mission to get a sword? Talk about boring. Okay, wake up. I'm yawning too much. I need to see action. <laughs> You too, huh? Your blood must be pumping hard from keeping all those lizards in line, hmm? This is as far as you go, you pitiful drones! That opportunist Kunpetku cannot be trusted to lead the sect. County Palk, priest of Mars, has ordered the cleansing to begin. Likewise, Kelny Polk, priest of Venus, says... Stop! Silence already! I don't care about squabbles between lonely worms! Yeah. I, I just love how all of his attacks are grabs. Like he has like fifty grabs. What? Yeah. 
Fucking Zoss no bullshit. with cleaning guys even amongst the gods he is renowned for his cleanliness you could learn a lot from him however you should focus on your goal <laughs> I like this one straight to the point <laughs> I shall take care of all the rubbish you collect it should have its uses Still don't understand what's happening. Astral 3, the will of the gods. Cleansing. Compact his enemies without mercy as he went. Astaroth continued on his way to the scent of death, growing stronger all the time. Upon reaching Europe, he discovered that the genesis of all this chaos was being brought under the name of Night. Nightmare caused all this destruction? How? dare he go so far? How dare he? There's nothing left for me to kill! Nothing left for me to kill, guys. We have you now, you abominations. Your evil ends here. Ares, god of war, grant us your protection. God of war? Do you love god of war? Really Great video mad. game. You're gonna wish I just killed you! God of War, great game. Love it. 10 out of 10 game. Would video game again. God of War. Can't confirm. Great game. Um, God of War is uh, pretty pretty good. Pretty good game. Would game again. God of War. I, I hate the fact that everything is a grab for him. I hate it. I am just getting my asshole fucking beat apart. So fucking slow. Damn. Good. You're quiet now. Their weapons and moves remind me of yours. Not that it matters. <laughs> All right. On to nightmare. Kerr, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Astute as ever, Astaroth, for various reasons. Those humans were also blessed with the power of your master, Ares. <laughs> Seems like even war gods have a lot on their plates. Still, it's none of my concern. As long as I get to run wild.
They got me running, wild and free, running, wild and free. Alright, Astros 4. Astro the Cursed Sword. Though irritated by the whims of the gods, Astros finally entered Nightmare's dilapidated castle. The smell of death was overwhelming. Before he knew it, he was surrounded by a group of twisted creatures known as Astro himself. Moved it in immense sword with a single eye. So I finally get to fight Nightmare. Finally get to fight Nightmare after all these story modes. Just offer your soul to our leader. So this is why rumors surrounding the castle don't spread, despite the endless massacres. Correct. Dead men tell no tales. However, if you were to join up, rip. Significant maggot! I'll crush your head with my bare hands! Hey, lizard brains, hold off! This one's mine. That is dicks. So, what is this? Oh my god! Oh my god. So irritating. That move that I was trying to do, but whatever, it's fine. I... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't even matter. Impressive hey, it's Nightmare. Astroth, cult follower. The regular Malfested are no match for you. Nightmare, right? Tell me what you know. I shall be direct. I wish to use your power to resurrect Soul Edge. Should you agree to cooperate, you can kill as your heart desires. An attractive offer, no? No. What do you think, Kerr? Though he is cunning, he speaks the truth. At present, Soul Edge is at half its usual power. Ares would not be happy receiving it in such a state. Okay. I'll play your game. As a token of my gratitude, I shall bestow upon each of you a title. Astaroth, you shall be Sinister Sable. Lizard Man, you shall be Base Bert. What? Those are me. I got the short end of the stick. <laughs> yeah. Astaroth 5. The cult's suspicions deepen. Soul Edge was incomplete, not at all fit for his master. Astaroth's surmise. To restore the sword back to its full strength, he wouldn't have to cooperate with Nightmare for the for the time being. Besides, if it came to worse, Astaroth could kill him in his sleep at any time. However, the malevolent cult saw Astaroth as having become too complacent and dispatched someone to deal with him. Don't tell me you're gonna betray Lord Kunpetku. Do not be ridiculous. 
We were charged with finding and claiming the sword soul. The high priest told me to claim Soul Edge. So then, you defy me. That is the same as defying Kunpetku. Why are you undead me? What the high priest wills, Palgea wills too. So it is you who have defied our god and must die. Anyway, Damn. send the message to prepare more troops. I don't care if they're golems, lizards, or automatons. Yes, sir. It's almost time to strike. If I could just crush that brat Killick. <laughs> and Ivy. Soul Edge should get pretty full. <laughs> Alright, Astaroth 6, Banquet of Blood. Sensing Soul Edge was near completion, Astaroth prepared for his rebellion. While laying in wait in Osterisburg Castle for a high quality soul to reap, he sensed the tiny slither of death's aura, so slight and to, uh, as to be imperceptible to humans. Are you aware that someone has taken the hidden path? Of course. They carry a similar odor to that brat. There's no point in hiding. Your stench gives you away. You smell like a rotting carcass in a ditch! Blast. Hey, it's, uh... I know what you're thinking. It's, Most uh, react the edge same Lord, man. way. He looks strong, but he's probably slow and stupid. I can't describe how good it feels to defy expectations! I admit, I am shocked. You both have a way with words and smells. <laughs> As I'm in a good mood, I'll overlook your insolence. But you reek of one modified by human hands, the most repugnant of odors to me. I can't let Nightmare feast on rotten garbage. Yeah. How does that not connect? I don't understand. Take this. 
I don't understand what the fuck just happened. I, I actually don't understand what just happened. The names of the warriors I legitimately bound to the two swords just don't understand what I just witnessed of in history. front of my screen, in front of my eyes for the last half hour. For the last hour, really. The entire time we've been here, I don't understand anything that has happened. This, 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 I, just, I don't get it. I don't understand. Alright. Well, uh, I guess that's it then. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to leave a like and sure subscribe if you did. I'll see you guys in the next episode, which is uh, which is Nightmare. Finally, maybe a character that's actually worth a damn for the story. 